guys and welcome back to my channel or if you're new make sure to hit the subscribe button so you're part of our cute little family um so today i will be filming for you guys my famous omelet that you guys requested through instagram stories um so i do want to disclose that i don't like eggs but i still want to be able to get those protein in so we get them gains you already know how it is um, so yeah, it's pretty easy, pretty simple. Uh, just make sure to tag along. Again, make sure to subscribe. Hope you enjoy it. Um, I hope that it will get make you hungry. So go ahead and go for it. Enjoy. I know you were expecting for the video to start, but I just wanted to show you up oh, my little buddy who decided to leave me. omelette it's pretty easy you need just a few ingredients so first I'm taking some cheese I'm taking some pepper onions mushrooms tomatoes two eggs and some greens uh, you can really take whichever I took some mix that we had in the fridge sometimes I take spinach sometimes I take arugula it really doesn't matter you just go with the flow so to be able to make base that it covers the whole face well not everything because then it's going to be too much oil but most of the the surface like that your your egg is not going to stick well first we're not doing the egg but like when we'll be doing the egg like that the butter is kind of already all over the face so then this part is pretty easy you just put everything in except for the eggs um i know that usually when you do actual omelets you just put everything together but i feel like that's one of the things i don't like is that it kind of gets too smushy and everything is just with the egg and it doesn't separate it and then it just tastes like eggs and as I said I don't like eggs so first we're gonna put the onions I like to put the onions first just because they kind of caramelize them a little bit a little bit and we go ahead with the mushrooms and sometimes if I make too much, like if it doesn't fit everything, we can just keep it for later. I like to do another type of mix, another type of cooking. So basically my omelette is going to be a little bit smaller than usual um, well then compared to everybody else's just because I don't like it when it's too big you'll see I'll use pretty much the same pan just because I don't like I feel like when it's too big of a surface it takes longer to eat and I just get tired of the taste it gets cold I can't finish it and I just hate it so like and that's why I like to do it in a smaller surface just because I feel like you kind of get it over with easily for sure you're supposed to enjoy your meals but I feel like when I make omelettes it's mostly to be able to get my intake of eggs and proteins um so that's why this one I, like it's still good you know I put then we'll put maple syrup on it but it's just like you know it's not the meal that I like the best so that's why I kind of like to make it smaller and like a little bit of sugar afterwards to kind of make it tastier and then um I always keep the greens for the end just because then they're all going to get smooshed together and like all get tiny and things so we don't want them to be too tiny we don't like we don't want them to lose all their goodies but yeah you just put all of it in there and then you just
um, basically this way, the way that we're doing it is my sister who taught me how to do it just because I always hated omelets, even in restaurants, just everywhere I hated omelets. Um, I'm only able to eat my eggs sunny side up with like, I eat the yellow part with some butter, with some bread, and then the white part, it's kind of like, we'll see if I eat it, we'll see if I don't. If I have like potatoes, I'll just kind of mix them together, but I really don't like them. And right now, as I've talked about in my previous videos, I'm trying to gain weight. So eggs is one of like the most, the best ways to get your protein in. And I used to put them in my smoothies. I'm going to try to keep it, keep doing it again. But it's just like right now, I feel like this is a good alternative, alternative just because it kind of really fills me up and it helps me to kind of get that intake of my greens and my vegetables and everything else. So yeah, you kind of keep stirring your cup. And just basically set this aside because you're just going to need it by the end. And as usual, me just being a mess. Okay, so basically afterwards, you're just going to simply put some butter in there again so that your egg is not stick everything off. And this is where the part is important. You already have some butter around, but it's just like to make sure that your egg doesn't stick because then when you're going to fold it, it's just going to be a full mess. Trust me. So then we'll just go ahead and what I like about doing it in the same pan is that basically your pan is already warm and hot so it's going to be easier for the egg to kind of just do its thing. Go ahead. And then you'd basically just wait a little bit. Uh, you'll wait for it to be somewhat cooked, but you don't want it to be fully cooked just because we're going to put the vegetables in there and it's kind of going to kind of get mixed together. And that's where the part that I like, you know, it's not as if it's in there, but it's still part of the omelet, you know? Okay, so then when it kind of looks like this, that's when you're going to be mixing it together. So like I said, right now I have way too much for the omelet that I'm making. So we're just going to put maybe half of it and you just put it on half of your omelet because that's where we're gonna fold it and then you just wait a little bit that's where we're going to add the cheese I try not to put too much just because you know intolerance is 100% there, but it makes it better <laughs> somewhat. <laughs> so you see right here, it kind of like melts together and it just kind of gets mixed together. That's what we like. And then we start adding the cheese. <laughs> You don't have to put too much, just enough to your taste. And you can start checking if it's kind of already ready. It's getting there. You don't want it to burn, but you don't want it to be all yellow still. Okay, so then when it kind of, oh, that's hot. When it kind of looks like this, that's when you can flip it. So you just go ahead and you burn your stove. And you hold it there just because it makes it easier than it's not going to keep popping open. And I'm just going to end up folding and move it a little bit around. And it's pretty ready, so you'll just move it to your plate. And the final touch that makes the whole difference for me is the maple syrup. I hope that you have wherever you live, just because it's the best thing. And you just drip it all over. For Since that. 
for that. Yes, honey, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes I put too much and it looks like I'm eating maple syrup with omelet, but you know, whatever, you just go with the flow. So yeah, that was pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed my video. I hope that you will try it. Let me know in the comments and make sure to put some pictures on Instagram to show me the omelets that you guys made. Um, this is kind of lately my go-to for breakfast. I try to eat, uh, so one day I'll eat um, omelets and the other one I'll eat like oatmeal or different things like that. I still always eat my um, during my shake just to make sure that I have enough protein in. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So make sure to subscribe so you see the next videos that will be coming. Um, and yeah, have a good day. Bye.